as most of you, many of you may know, this is the 100th mm -hmm. anniversary of the most famous intercollegiate fight song in the country, and that is the Notre Dame fight song. Uh, the Notre Dame fight song was written by two Holyoke natives, the Shea brothers, Michael and John, and they were both students at Notre Dame. The first playing of the Notre Dame fight song was right here in Holyoke at the Second Congregational Church down the street. The UMass Band has graciously uh, chose, uh, allowed us to have mm -hmm. them honor and commemorate this particular uh, event by playing the fight song. So here we have Doc, uh, Mr. Parks and the University of Massachusetts Minuteman Marching Band and their rendition of the Notre Dame Victory March. Massachusetts marching bands were paying tribute to the city of Holyoke, to the Shea family, and, and the marvelous rendition of the Notre Dame Victory March. Absolutely. I think that's an education for a lot of people, Brian, who might not have known the origins of the song. Yet another good reason to love the city of Holyoke. We have so many uh, things that we can be proud of, and, and the Notre Dame Victory March is just one of them. It certainly is. They did a fine job. And it was great to have these, this band here. I really hope we can get them back on a regular basis. Wouldn't that know. be great? I, I think we got to start plugging right now for next year because they are really a terrific way. We know it was a different way to start off the parade. We thank you for uh, enjoying our little impromptu concert here on the streets of Hoyoke. Band, drum majors Ashley Williams, Michael White, and Melanie Burian. Best band in Hoyoke Parade several times in the past 10 years. You're going to hear why. <laughs> 220 members strong. Take a listen. Notre Dame fight song. Uh, this is all, of course, in honor of the Shea brothers. There's a depiction mm -hmm. of the, the two Shea brothers on the float. I want to especially recognize here uh, Dr. David Shea from Northampton and his group 
who got together and they uh, made uh, a great effort to not only recognize the 100th anniversary of the Notre Dame Victory March, but also were, were helpful along with committeeman Ken Collins in securing the services of the UMass band. So Dr. Shea and Ken Collins, thank you uh, on, on both scores. Very good job. The view now presented by the East Hampton uh, Savings Bank. We have the East, well, East Hampton Parade Committee with the East Hampton High School Marching Band. East Hampton High School Marching Band, let's give a listen. Victory March? I think so. The Cathedral High School Band, sponsored by Sheriff Michael Ash, Drum Major Michael Pellin. And here they come. Let's listen in. and the University of Notre Dame, which of course, uh, they have the uh, John Shea and Michael Shea portraits up. Mm -hmm. And go Irish. <laughs> you are watching live coverage of the 57th annual Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade on WGBY-TV. It Glad may be you a parade, but a football game broke out. <laughs> Look at that. Some real leatherheads the there, le Brian. Yeah, those Looking are the leatherheads. Good. They're ready for that new movie, The Leatherheads. Yay. And it's, it's really terrific to see how the parade is reflecting the 100th anniversary of the Notre Dame fight song. It's, I mean, everybody's getting in on it and enjoying it. We've heard five renditions of the, uh, the Victory March already this afternoon, and we're not through. 